So Steven Strasburg, according to our Jeff Passan, has signed a $35 million a year deal to return to the Nationals. Seven years, $245 million, shattering every single record. So we told you that the average annual value um, on the contract of Granke is 34.5, but because it's deferred payments, it's just 31.5. I don't think that Cole, because he has so many suitors, and so does Strasburg, I don't think he's going to take deferred money. The Nationals are famous for deferred money. That's why Anthony Rendon turned down the offer they gave him during the season, and he's going to end up cashing in. But I just wonder, with Strasburg getting this, and Strasburg's a really good pitcher, he's not as good as Cole. He was great in the postseason. He's not as good as Cole. He's older than Cole. What's Cole getting? And then are there going to be people that come out of the woodwork if the Yankees end up giving him $38, $39 million a year for eight years to say, well, the Yankees are just buying a World Series? So I've always said the Yankees can't win in these situations, Don. They're either too greedy or they're too cheap. There's no in-between. So they have waited over the years. They've never made that big commitment now to any free agent. And this is the guy they look like they're zeroed in on, and they're going to have to outbid the Angels and the Dodgers. So where do they stand if they win? They get looked at with derision? I don't think you have to worry about that. Now, Brian Cashman has a history of, of worrying about that. But he's got two passions here. He's got liking to build where he doesn't look like he's, he's operating with a checkbook to win his championships. But this is his white whale. This is the kid that he wasn't able to get. Yep. So I'm sure the pendulum's swinging back and forth. We had a caller say you got to do it for the fans. I don't know. Do the Yankees think that way? I mean, their fan base is so strong, Michael. Are they worried people aren't going to show up to their games? They won 100 games last year. They're still a very good team. Even without Cole, their chances of winning the championship got better because Cole's no longer in Houston. Right? Yep. So, and especially if he signs with a National League team, the Yankees are in a better spot than they were last year. So I don't think the fans, they'll be disappointed, but I don't think they're going to turn on them to the point where they're not going to go to the games or they're not going to watch or listen to the, to the ball games. That's not going to happen. The fan base is too passionate for that. No, no. But it is a lot of money, and it, and it could be a long, long term as well. My, um, my colleague, yes, Jack Curry, tweeting out and reporting that Brian Cashman is expected to make, quote, a very, very competitive offer to Garrett Cole today. So let's put that into English. It's got to be way more than Strasburg made. So a very, very competitive offer when you know the Dodgers and the Angels are lurking and the kid is from the West Coast. I think you're starting, your starting point in offer to him has to be $37.5 million a year. Yeah, it would have to. And then it's either seven or eight well, because, years. Because what are you doing, Michael? You, you know Scott Boris wants to exceed Strasburg's contract. So if you're going to offer something that isn't significantly better, you're, you're, you're not dancing with this agent. He's not going to play the fool here. I mean, a competitive offer, yeah, they can't walk in there like, we're the Yankees, we've got a closer chance to win a championship than these other teams that are trying to bid for you. We, we've got a better chance to win than the White Sox do, so take a discount. I mean, you, you, you're not working with an agent that's going to take any kind of a discount here. So when you talk about being competitive, is, is that even the word to use, competitive? Competitive means that it's going to be in the vicinity. Competitive means you're going to have to maybe surpass well, you definitely have to surpass Strasburg. So I'd say if Strasburg got seven, Cole's going to want eight. Now, the only way that Cole doesn't want eight is if he wants to become a free agent again at the age of 36. But then knowing Boris, it could be an eight-year deal with a five-year out because that's, that's how Strasburg was able to ca cash in. It was a seven-year deal he signed previously and an out after the, uh, after the third year. So he still had four years and $100 million remaining on his contract, and he turned that into seven years at $35 million a year. Amazing. So last year, there was nothing going on. Stagnant free agent market. Nobody wanted Harper. Nobody wanted Machado. And now there's this. And, and just think about if you're Scott Boris. So the average baseball agent makes 4% of a player's contract. He's already signed Moustakis for $65 million. Okay. He signed Strasburg for 245 So let's just round that off to $300 million. Uh, He's got Cole, who's going to come in. Too close to three hundred million. Okay. So that's six hundred million. And he's got Rendon, let's say two hundred and fifty million, that's eight hundred and fifty million. And then he's got other players as well, Dallas Keiko. Let, let's just say that at the end of this sea off season, he's gonna have a billion dollars in contracts. He gets four percent of it. That's pretty good. Yeah, not too bad. That's very, very good. So he'll make around forty million dollars this summer. Is it just forty four percent of a billion? Or is it four hundred? Yeah, I guess it's 40. I'm very smart. When it comes to money, you are.